What's that then? Gym intimidation. We've got Fran who's hiding by there. By the heat. Cold. By the heat lap because <laughs> it's freezing. That's what we're trying to deal with this week is how we can get people into the gym which are traditionally intimidating places for the majority of people because it's new, it's fresh, it's, you know, we don't know what each bit of kit does and all the rest of it. So how we got, how do we get into the gym in the first place? And that's why Fran is here. Go through how Fran, who is, let's be honest, was not a natural gym, natural weight trainer, which is perfect. Jim, how you did it. So it struggles. We've got no script, so you, you struggles, what you liked, didn't like, yeah. what you found was tough. Are you okay yet again with what's, what was your gym story, very basically? So before I started working with you, I've probably done every class going. I did kickboxing, various bits and bobs, but I'd never actually gone into a gym or gym area of the gym. Weights area, done yeah, these, done I've never picked up one of those ever. Why is that? Just to, well, just avoided it. It was never like an area that I thought I could go in. Right. Because I was like little and you know you don't do weights yeah, of course. when you're small and all that stuff yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be able to lift it up and <laughs> it's going to sound really bad no, it's not. but like feel okay. like all the riders used to be in there yeah, yeah. you know like all the, uh, uh, kind yeah, of yeah. thing you've, you've only done what is absolutely human nature and that you've gone and done things which is safe how do you conquer that fear of and it is a fear let's be honest with you of walking into it my god what the hell does that do what that, that contraption there yeah. What does that do? So how how do, how do you break that down? What do um, you... I think I was so fed up with myself and sort of going through the same routine of like starting something, then stopping it, or like doing a class but not really kind of getting the most out of it. Yeah. And yeah. I think I particularly for me, like the reason why I joined it was like for my mental health and to get that better. Yeah. Um, and I knew that something needs to change. That I needed to do that. And sort of after I spoke to you, it was like, well, I may as well try it because I've tried everything else. Yeah, yeah. So it's, you know, either going to work or it isn't. Just kind of went in there going, well, I'll give it a go and, and see see what happens. Well, this, this is so important. Um, it sounds to me as if you found a bigger why. Your why to do it, i.e. your mental health, outweighed the fear of doing it. But you found a bigger purpose, a stronger purpose, versus the fear of doing it. If your goal was get a bit fitter, you might not have done it because that's not strong enough, No. but you really wanted to feel better, you wanted to mentally feel better so that your, your, your why was up here and then your fear was underneath it. Yeah. So you thought, right, I'm, in order to feel better, I've got to do something different, so I now have to go and do that. Yeah. Is that, is that like the I sort of thing? Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a proper issue for me because I've said this from day one, as much as I love training and I still do, it's it has to be first and foremost, rather than training for training's sake and to get big muscles and all the rest of it, that's a nice byproduct of doing something that makes you feel great, makes you feel well, makes you feel energized. And then if you get that feeling, then the other results have to come because you're gonna to stick to it because you're enjoying it. Rather than the other way around, where we go to the gym, I wanna build muscles and then three weeks later, you haven't built muscle and you throw, the, throw it in because, well, that's not working. We try and enjoy the process first. What would be your number one piece of advice for people just starting in the gym? Just just get in there. Even if you step through the door, just have a look around and see yeah, yeah. what it's like. Do the exercises that you know. Don't do anything too complicated. If there's a machine that you don't know, don't try it. Don't do it. Yeah, if you on. don't want to try the free weights, don't try them until you're confident. You know, Perfect. you've got to make it work for you so that it's simple, you enjoy it and you want to do it again. For me, it's the way I feel afterwards yeah. that, that gets me, like the energy and the buzz that I feel, like the adrenaline after a session is what I, what I go for. I couldn't agree more. It's just pick a couple of exercises that you absolutely can do. And if you want to do those, don't worry about, oh, I didn't push the weight, so I did. who cares? Mm -hmm. Once you've done that, like Fran says, you think, well, I'm okay with that. Right, I'll go and try that machine next yeah. time, or I'll go and grab a set of dumbbells and have a little play. But then your confidence just grows. For me, number one advice, piece of advice, and again, this is absolutely deadly serious, 100% serious, would be headphones. If I had to give one, if I had to say one, you know, I would say definitely keep it really simple, definitely get a bit of a plan, so you're walking in, I'm gonna do absolutely something, but if I only could give one, it would genuinely, 100% be get headphones. 
and I can't explain how they work. They do work. It's like it's a just invisible work. force field. <laughs> so you put them on, and nobody talks to you. Nobody talks to you. It's amazing. I love it. How much has your confidence improved since strength training? So, oh, massively. I say too many times that change has changed my life. Honestly, I have. Well, I'll be honest with you, I've reduced my antidepressants by 20 milligrams since starting last well nearly a year ago which obviously was my main thing which I never thought I would be able to do which was which was just massive for me from where I was like previously <laughs> I've done the sky dive you jumped on a plane you crazy bitch you jumped on a plane you know, it's just like stuff that I'd never ever thought I would be able to do and even like just everyday life like my confidence everybody's noticed it and like in work going for what I want with like career and things I'm getting knocked back but I'm finding that I'm dealing with that better, so I'm not, like, I feel like if you can lift something heavy, it sounds really stupid, but if you can lift something heavy, you can do anything. It's definitely, like, a benchmark and foundation for everything else, like, in life, it really is. I, I, I'm, I always got something to add, and, like, the fact that Franz just said that is testament in itself. It's massive, absolutely massive, to reduce the tablets that you did. Uh, yeah. It's, yeah, she is amazing. It's amazing. It's an amazing. F Again, I, I would say it because that's what I. But I'm saying it because that's what I believe. If if you're in a, if you're in a leg press machine and you've got hundred kilos careering at you and you can control it and you can do it and you mentally switch, then you can deal with stuff. Yeah. You can deal with life because life is not the better roses. We, you know, and I, I genuinely believe it. That is proof. And and getting back to exercise. So if I haven't done it for a few days, I'm thinking, oh, I'm feeling a bit rubbish. Go and do it because you know it's going to make you feel ah, better. Brilliant point, right? I've said this so many times. If you're not feeling great, then, you know, again, if you love reading, if you're not feeling great, then by reading a book, by default, you're going to feel, if it's only 1% better, you're going to feel better because, like for me, it's always been this sort of thing, you know? If you've got something you love, if it's knitting, yeah, right. reading, cooking, if you're feeling shit, then by doing something you know is going to make you feel better, you're going to feel better. Yeah. You know, it's such a basic thing really but it's so overlooked do you have any tips for those who have anxiety to get started in the gym for me everything we've talked about first is when, when people join the gym first i always say just go through the door literally you know if you're going to climb a mountain you know if, if you've got three stone to lose it's massively overwhelming you never lose three stone but that's the thought it's too much but we can lose a pound right we can we can make a start and for me seriously i would to go through the door and I've done a video on this, literally to go through a door in the gym, walk in, if you just sit there, for, or stand there for two or three minutes, and walk out, but that's your plan, then that will help massively with that building, that confidence. It's one brick at a time. Isn't it? It, it, gyms, I, I totally get the anxiety in a gym, so if we can build it slowly, as long as people understand this is a process, it's going to take four or five visits before you get the confidence to maybe go and do a couple of things. Yeah. Get some help. You find a gym that you feel comfortable in, you get a feeling. You can't judge it all in one visit, but you get a feel yeah. that, yeah, this is going to be okay. And there'll be somebody there that will, will help. There's always somebody there that will help in good gyms. But build it slowly and be prepared for it to be a four, five, yeah. six week process. Small take it in small steps. S small, small steps, small be steps. Be kind to yourself as well. Absolutely. Don't think, you know, oh, I need to get there yesterday Absolutely. because you're not going to. If it's taken you that long, that you've had anxiety or depression before. And anxiety and depression is just a state. It's the, like yeah, a, a feeling, okay? So I know it's, I'm not a doctor or anything, but from what I've, you know, my experience and stuff. So, so you're in that um, feeling. So if you're staying there and you're not doing anything about it, nothing's gonna happen. You know, like you said, if you're gonna do something that's gonna make you feel 1% better, well, that's 1% more than we were feeling about 10 minutes ago. Yeah. You know, so do something that, pick something that you like doing. If you, you're that terrified of going into a gym, don't go into a gym, don't do it. Pick swimming or Zumba or whatever yeah. it is that you like to do that could get you started of doing something that is gonna make you feel better. You know, be kind to yourself. Think, don't make this massive plan up. If you plan to go, you know, three times a week and you only go one, well, that's one more than you did last week. Really. Oh take your time with it so it's gonna it's take a while hopefully we've helped you know people cross that bridge and final thoughts anybody Brand? just do i would say do something that makes you feel better 
if you're struggling with mental health, something that you know is going to make you feel better, just do it. It doesn't matter. It's any form of exercise helps with mental health, yeah, even cool. if it's just a walk. You know, anything, getting out of nature, reading a book, going to the gym, doing your swimming, doing your zumba, whatever it is, it's your thing, do it because you will, you will feel better for it. And just consistency, keep your plan simple, don't complicate it because you won't do it, and, and put your headphones on. Put your headphones on. I've always got something to add, but I don't think I'm going to add anything because the powerful message for me was the um, when he mentioned about the dosage of tablets. It's, it's amazing, it's amazing. Just to focus on the, on the results that you can have as well, it's just a massive thing. And if we can get one person to join the gym or to try a gym, as a result of this, that'll do us. I'm gonna finish up by embarrassing Fran, by just thanking her for opening up. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. Like, we got no script. It's important to be honest about oh. it, and people need to talk about it more. Lots of people go through it, and, and I think as well that the gym's not always about, you know, losing weight or no, whatever. If you've, if you've got poor mental health, then doing any sort of exercise is gonna help, help that, um, even if it's just getting out of the house, like, for five minutes, so you know, in the day. And, and just more. do it. We need to talk about it more. So do help. Help one person, then I'll, I'll be happy. Great stuff. Thanks, Fran. Okay. No Thanks, everybody. Yes. Have a great night. And don't be afraid. You get in there. Big headphones. Go through the door. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff, guys. Have a great night. Adios.